Today's episode is your worst nightmare. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We all sleep, and that means we all also dream. Yeah, mm. even if you're one of those people that's like, I don't dream. Well, you do dream. You just don't remember it. And why is that something that you're bragging about anyway? <laughs> okay, most dreams we have, we forget when we wake up, but nightmares, they have a funny way of sticking with us. <laughs> What's the worst nightmare that you've ever had? <laughs> you. Uh, I. What's the worst nightmare that you've ever had? I love how the jacket makes you move as if you're an animatronic. Yeah. Worst What's nightmare, the worst I've ever nightmare had? that you've ever had? Uh, driving off of a half-built bridge. Ooh, when was that? Many times. Ooh, it's a recurring nightmare. Yeah, and it's a really tall bridge, and I'm going, whoa, off of it before I realized that, oh, it's half-constructed. Well, I mean, hopefully you won't be facing any half-built Bridges on the mythical green today. Hey, let's swing some putters and get me out of this daggum jacket. It's time for Pick and Putt Nightmare Edition. Welcome to the putting zone that's soon to be from hell. And welcome the devilishly deviled caddy, Chase, to help take away this horribly scratchy, but still very lovely winner's jacket. I hope to see you again soon. Uh -huh. Okay, today we're ditching the big box store trivia, but keeping the crazy putt-putt holes and diving into the world of nightmares. Ah! Stevie's gonna ask us a question about nightmares. Each question will have three possible answers, and then we're gonna try to hit our balls into the right answer hole. Like golf, each putt counts as a stroke, and if our ball goes in the hole with the wrong answer, mm. that's two penalty strokes. Whoever has the lowest score at the end of the game gets to wear and keep that coveted winner's jacket. I, maybe only one of us is coveting it. I mean, last time I begged the mini golf gods yeah. to let me win. I lost horribly, so clearly, they don't exist, and I'm gonna have to do this on my own. I no longer believe in you! Let the nightmares begin. Ah! Ah! Hey, 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 watch out! No! Watch out. It's Freddy Krueger! Freddy Krueger's hand is coming towards me! Yeah, one, two, I'm coming for your golf balls. Oh, coming for the golf balls. Look, I mean, this is an impressive cardboard creation here. It's not cardboard, it's real. It's all supernatural powered. Okay, what's our question, Stevie? A study by Amerisleep surveyed 2,000 people about their anxiety-fueled nightmares and discovered that most people have more shared nightmares than you might think. Based on their research, what is the number one most common nightmare people have? Is it feeling lost, losing your teeth, or falling? Hmm, okay. feeling lost, losing your teeth, or falling. I've definitely lost my teeth. In a dream. I've had the teeth losing dream dozens of times in my life. I don't remember, a maybe a couple of falling dreams and, and yeah, maybe some lost dreams, but I mean, I'm going with losing teeth because I relate so much to that one. Of course, I've got to deal with... Gotta oh, deal with look at, look at that, he's really, Freddy. really trying to get at the you. The thing you got to do is you got to just act like he's not there. Oh! <laughs> that was close, man. it man. went right over the hole. But it's, it's an easy two one. putt for Rhett going into the teeth answer. Okay. Um, I got to agree. I think it's losing teeth. You said the most common? Yeah. Yep. 2,000 people. Amerisleep, my favorite sleep study organization. You know what? Just because we both did it doesn't mean it's most common. I'm actually going to change my answer to falling. Okay. Because I've fallen a lot too. Yep. Right, 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 right. You got to watch that hand. Do you, you, you see that hand? I'm not afraid of you, Freddy. You don't exist. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> falling. Yeah, I tried the old bank show. Hey, I like this, Chase. All right, guys. I'm just going to bust for falling. Oh, thank you. Okay, Stevie, well, what about this? While we may never truly know why so many of us have had this particular nightmare, thanks to this study, we do know that a whopping 64.7% of people have all had the number one most common nightmare of falling. Oh, yes! wow, really? Okay, all right, all yeah. right. Whoa! The nightmares continue. 
Oh, we've got a man and two women in what looks to be a bed of nails. I think I saw this in like a tourism ad for Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Their mouths are disturbingly agape, Stevie. <laughs> and round. In 2007, psychologists in Montreal had male and female volunteers log their dreams, accumulating 3,500 dreams in total. Among their research findings, the study discovered that women were twice as likely as men to dream about what? Having sex with a celebrity. Wow. Being attacked by an animal. Okay. Ooh. Or natural disasters. All right, Link, you're a first, so you're in the lead. Now, the, the, these were all Canadian dreams. And specifically so, Montreal. So we so got a, they had a French a Canadian. French uh, ha ha ha! We're going to have a celebrity sex. Yeah, yeah. Le menage à toi. That's not a nightmare. That doesn't fit the category. Well, this is just dreams, man. But attacked by an animal. Lots of animals up there in the pelt e economics up there. The beavers up there are out of control. Right. <laughs> so I, I just feel like they're and thinking- beavers do attack. They're thinking about moose. They're thinking about beaver. They're moose. thinking about getting those pelts. Those moose dreams. I'm, I'm thinking it's being attacked. Okay. You got a long way between here and there, friend. You got a Plinko board to get through. Oh, oh. Oh, no. It's really reverberated. Come back to the middle. I want that middle. The middle mouth. Middle. Yes, oh, you yes, called it. Yes. And oh, well. trickle, trickle, trickle. You got a little trickle down situation there. Okay, so we got a long way to go. I can't move this. Yes. Hmm. Neil in two strokes has sunk it. Being attacked. I'm not a French Canadian woman. Thanks for clearing that up. But I have had many dreams about being attacked by animals. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Halle Berry. I haven't, no, I don't know if I've ever had a celebrity sex dream. And I don't think I've ever had a natural disaster dream. I feel like I gotta make a move though because you're, you're taking a two stroke lead. Well, I'm gonna put it down there and see what happens. I'm going towards the middle, but we'll see what fate has to say about that. Oh, see, so you, you gave it more force, learning from my mistake, but it's slowed down a lot. Looks like you're gonna go in the same hole as me. Huh. Same spot. Hey, you know what? I've been there, man. I know how it feels. Fate is giving you nothing that a little celebrity sex won't fix. I feel like celebrity sex is not it. Listen, I'm gonna go from personal experience and those French Canadian beavers. He's trying to tie me up. All right. Okay, so. I, I'm fine with this, because I'm still in the lead. Yeah. While men are more likely to dream about technology malfunctions, <laughs> this study found that women are twice as likely to dream about having sex with a celebrity. Dang, really? That was your chance, man. Man! <laughs> hey, y'all, we just dropped a brand new series on a mythical society. Fitting that we're talking about it today because it's called Let's Dream About That, mm -hmm. where we guide you into a meditative, surreal dream state, and you can bet that we're all gonna have some weird dreams together. Come, come sleep with us. Yeah, it's like guided meditation for collective dreaming with other mythical beasts. Now this is available for third degree and second degree society members, but because we are so excited about this new series, we're gonna make this first episode also available to first degree society members until 9 a.m. tomorrow. So what tonight nice. only, if you're a first degree member, if you wanna join us first degree, then you can get a load of that. I mean, it's, it's almost a half hour, the, the yeah. first episode. Yeah. So there's a lot in there and there's more of those to follow. So get a little taste of that sweet, sweet dream world then come back for more, mythicalsociety.com. Okay, what do we have here? All aboard. <laughs> Oh, it's a spooky train. Oh, wow. Look at that demon boy starting up those sheep trains. There they go. There you go. Okay, so. I'm scared. This is just counting sheep. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. There we go. Just needed a little encouragement. I think the gap's too much. You need to, you need to make two gaps. You know what? Let him figure that out while we get a question. It turns out that there is a scientific correlation between the foods we eat and how likely we are to have nightmares. But which of these three foods has not been found to increase the likelihood of nightmares? Okay. Cake, popcorn, or hot sauce? Of course, we have to taste it in order to be informed. Oh yeah, I remember what chocolate cake tastes like. And I remember what popcorn tastes like. I'm gonna dip my popcorn in hot sauce. And I already remember what hot sauce tastes like. All right, Link, you're up. You're still in the lead. 
Oh, that's some hot, hot, hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. I, I smelt it. Give a warning next time. I mean, there's no way that popcorn causes dreams. Hot sauce makes sense. And then cake, it's like very decadent. You got some caffeine in there. You got some dairy in there. Some dairy in there? I gotta stick with popcorn. And you know, I have the express checkout. I could I could go for a hole in one. Well, then use it, man. You've, I, never, you've never had the privilege of wearing the green jacket. I'm feeling good right now. I wanna win without the aid of that, if I can help it. I'm in the lead. I'm not gonna use it. Wow, the Linkster's confident. Oh, oh, so close to popcorn. That Damn. was impressive. And you used the train as a backstop? Nice. Yeah, I did. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 Sorry, Chase. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. <clears throat> well, yeah, man. Got it. Got it. What, 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 what's happening? I'm still, uh, one oh. second. Sheep getting away from him. I'm just gonna let them figure that out. I'm gonna think out loud while they're fixing the trains. The only thing that I definitively know about food and dreams is that dairy has been known to induce dreams. So I don't think cake is a great answer. Hot sauce might give you some indigestion. Popcorn, what's it gonna do? It's not gonna do anything. I don't feel right about just gi giving the same answer though, and you got it in two, which was, it's, was very impressive. You can get a hole in one. Okay, I'm going for popcorn because it's the only thing that makes sense to me. There we go. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh gosh. It. You've been sheep! Okay. Uh, oh, and now you're racing to get in there, huh? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay, you know yes, what, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, you're changing your answer now that you're on the precipice of popcorn? I might be completely throwing the game at this point. This popcorn seems so obvious, but I'm gonna fall even further behind either way. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take a chance. Hot sauce. He has changed his answer to hot sauce. Dreams can be nightmarishly altered after consuming foods that affect body temp or are high in sugar, like hot sauce and cake, respectively. However, complex carbs like popcorn actually boost serotonin, which can help regulate your sleep cycle in a positive, non-nightmarish way. Yeah. So popcorn is the right answer. Screw the pooch on that one. Yes. And now the final nightmare. Oh, we have got some mousetrap devices down here that are sleepy landmines. I'm told that if your golf ball wakes up any of these guys, he'll catapult your ball forwards. Excited to see that. What's our question? In an interview with Vanity Fair, actor, comedian, screenwriter, and all-around tall guy, Jason Siegel, admitted to having a spooky recurring nightmare between the ages of 8 and 13. Was it being trapped inside Dracula's castle, being eaten by killer tomatoes, or being chased by Beetlejuice. Okay. Jason Siegel, shout out to Jason Siegel. Famous dreamer. Especially in that eight to 13 age range. He was a very, uh, very intense dreamer. See, I think Killer Tomatoes is a thing. Dracula is a bit tropish. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a movie. Yeah. That would probably have been out around the time that Siegel was eight to 13. It stars Ooh, that's Michael true. Keaton. Man, I'm ahead, but I really got to think about this. I'm torn between Beetlejuice because of the age range and Killer Tomatoes is just drawing me in. I'm going to wait to give my answer and see where fate sends me. Yeah, you, I mean, just so between you and me, you would have to royally screw this up to lose, just so you know. Like, it would be the biggest implosion in golf history. And I could bypass this with Express Checkout, but I ain't going out like a chump. I'm going out like a champ, and I'm not going out at all. I'm gonna get that green jacket. You could also give me the Express Checkout. I mean, I'm so, it's so pitiful how far I am behind. No, I'm right definitely not doing that. All right, I'm gonna go in this area and then see if it'll catapult me forward because I'm going with fate. I just think this will be fun. It'll be fun, yeah. Oh, missed it. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. That was a nice gentle floppage, but we got two up there. Okay, given my placement, fate is not speaking to me, but I just feel like it's killer tomatoes. Okay. I mean, I hate tomatoes. I love me some seagulls. Oh, just barely. All right. Oh, I want that green jacket. Okay. I uh, know what you, I, they're thinking that killer tomatoes is wrong. But they're no. hoping it's right because they're pulling for me. Here, here, here's, well, first of all, you can't lose at this point. I was trying to throw you off a little bit. The answer is killer tomatoes. You think so? 
Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is the movie. I saw it as a child. Ah! And I believe it was early 80s, and Beetlejuice was late 80s, so he would have been too old to be dreaming about Beetlejuice. It's gotta be Killer Tomatoes. So I have to make a proposal for you. What would you do for me if I were to get a hole in one into Killer Tomatoes and it were to be the right answer? I give you an extra point. I mean, a hole in one in the final round. I mean, maybe that that would be worthy of me keeping the uh, the green jacket. You know, if you bank it as a hole in one, bank it, bank it off the back wall. Okay, if I bank it off the back wall into Killer Tomatoes, and Killer Tomatoes is correct, and Killer Tomatoes is correct. What happens? I get to keep the jacket. You get to keep the jacket. Oh gosh. Okay. Up. Oh. Ah. It was a valiant effort. You woke up one sleeper. Okay. Wake them all up. Some of them are heavy sleepers. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is not the right answer. Jason Siegel's recurring childhood nightmare actually may explain why his character in Forgetting Sarah Marshall created a Dracula puppet musical. Yes, little oh, Jason really? turns being trapped inside Dracula's castle. Oh, Ooh, that man. was your chance. Interesting for no reason. All right, Lane, try it on. See what you think, man. Yeah, See how it careful. fits. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm talking about? You're gonna regret this. this I'm telling a, you. This is a, like a oh oh it's like a dream come true. <laughs> That became a nightmare. All right, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shannon. And I'm Dane. And we're from Gainesville, Florida. And we came here to the Hamlin Mansion in historic Miganopi. And we came here to find out what the spirits have to say. Let's find out. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Hold on, we got demons telling us to spin the wheel of mythicality. That, I don't know about that, Gainesville. That is a bit much. Click the top link to see if we can match the crew members to their awful recurring nightmares in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality's gonna land. It's time to embark on a collective dream journey with us. Begin by lying down in a comfortable position of slumber. Close your eyes and take three deep breaths.